show, we are what are we playing what are waves with the goat. The goat. Chat, say hi to YouTube. The goat. We're going to one take this because I'm live right now. We're going to be live all night doing all the content. Look at my yo, she's so beautiful. She's so beautiful. W W's in the chat. Uh Camilla like every other Wuthering Waves character, suffers from the fact that literally everything under the sun um, is as long as the Declaration of Independence. And so it's really unfortunate, but we figured it out. I think we got it pretty, pretty good. So I'm going to show gameplay first before I break down all this nonsense so you can really see what the deal is. Because realistically, all you need to do is either intro into her and then just spin to win. So you see what I'll say. So we're going to show gameplay. Then I'll show the kit. And then we'll look at the build. And I haven't even looked at the constellations yet. I'm not the type of person who likes constellations. Yo, shout out to Paco. Paco, you were in a video, brother. I'm not cutting this out. That man, bro. I appreciate the follow. Thank you. Thank you. I don't like rolling for constellations in this game. I don't really think it's needed. But I'm sure constellations are fine. The goat. The goat. So, and then YouTube say hi back to everyone. So, pretty much it says here, casting intro recovers forte gauge. Uh, hitting a target with normal attacks and vining walls. Consume Forte's Gauge, which is her spinning move, which I'll show you in a minute. When Concerto Energy is active, uh, activate Forte Circuit. You only get her Forte Gauge through Concerto, which I'll show you. And then you do have a couple combos here. I mean, obviously, do whatever. Uh, this seems to be the one that I like the most. Chain Basic Attack. When performing Basic Attack 4, holding this to continuously attack the target. Literally just spin to win. You literally, you literally can't mess this up. Uh, chain attack, vining waltz. When performing basic attack three, hold down to continuously attack the target. And then this is just their mode. So I'm going to show you right now. Yo, what's good, Shay? Say hi to YouTube. So pretty much right now, this is her Would basic attack. One, two, three, four. The two and then you hold down and you do another attack right there. As if you notice, you are not getting any forte circuit when you are actually attacking. You're only getting your concerto energy. So if I hit E, I can't like... I can't move. I'm stuck in these vines. But when you attack, you just move. It brings you to the enemies, right? So I'm literally just holding attack. And <laughs> you're just spinning to win, bro. If you hit E again, it takes you off the vine. You get more concerto energy. Uh, nothing too crazy there. This is the ult. The ult is just a nuke. It's beautiful. Um, obviously, you would get more concerto energy. So when you have your concerto energy up, I am covering it. But as you can see, uh, you hit E. Now you get your forte gauge. So now you get your forte gauge. You hit E again. And you just hold normal attack. And you get a bunch of multipliers, a bunch of buffs in this state, whatever the case may be. And you could actually refresh it. Do we have enough time? I didn't have enough time and I died. Can we get some L's in the chat? It's really unfortunate. But pretty much, that is her kit. That is literally her kit. Like, th that's all you do. You just get L, L mans. L mans. L mans. What up, Jez? Give me two seconds, brother. L mans, brother. Actually, bad guide maker. Go watch someone else's. All you do is skill. Go in the air. Swirl around. Get your concerto energy with dodge and wherever the case may be. You get your full concerto energy. Hit E again. You get a forte. And you just spin to win. You literally just hold L. L, excuse me, I'm taking it now. That's what I'm holding. You literally just hold basic attack. You can also intro in. So if you wanted to, let's say, go to Verena or whoever the case may be, right? And then you swap into Camilla. Now, bam, you hold E. And there you go. You you're, you literally start off with, in this mode. And you only, you know, consume Forte if you're attacking, right? So bam, we're about to get our Forte again. We're going to hit E again. Boom. I mean, excuse me, our Concerto. You got a Concerto up. Bam. It, it's pretty simple. Like, it, it's actually really straightforward once... And then, again, this is just one of those attacks. It's really straightforward once you sit down and do it. It seems like a lot, but it's not. And then, bam. I'm going to burst. And that's it. Uh, th that, that's that's pretty much how she works. That That is... uh. That's Camilla. I really feel like there's nothing... Am I missing anything, chat? You know? I think I think we're vibing. And then, obviously, we'll show the intro-outro, like, what they actually do, but it's nothing crazy. It's just her intro-outro is damage, right? But overall, she's great, man. She seems to be really easy. People are saying her field time is long. I haven't tested her yet, so I don't know how much damage she does. But I feel like she's going to do an ungodly amount of damage. And the fact that you can intro into her, immediately start off with your forte, and then after that, get the extra amplifiers and buffs from her is pretty valid. But so now, if we actually go to her, we're going to go over the constellation in the second slack, actually. So we're going to go over this first. Yo, Jeremy, I appreciate you, brother. You're in a YouTube video. Dab me up. Say hi to YouTube. Welcome in. Welcome in, bro. Uh, goaded. So 
let's look at this real quick. Let me go to my other scene. Um, these are crit damage. Crit damage nose, which is valid and attack. She scales with attack. Pretty cool. So normal attack, you could do five consecutive attacks after basic attack three, you know, plunge, whatever. Basic attack four is automatically followed by basic attack five. Doom stamina, etc. I mean, really nothing crazy here. Just do your normal basic attacks. Your resonance skill, as I showed you, once you cast your resonance skill, once you were on the vines and you were hanging, that's when you could just hold down your, your fucking attack button and spin to win. However, you will not get forte energy from that. You will only just do damage. If you hit E again, then you will drop back down and then you get your concerto energy. So unable to move while suspended in vines, basic attack, uh, plunging attacks are all placed by basic attack. She scales off a of basic attack. Keep that in mind. She's a basic attack character. Everything is going to convert into basic attack damage. Pretty much almost 99% of everything. Um, chained together for consecutive attacks when performing winding waltz three. That's what they showed you in that thing. Uh, you can do the combo of holding that down. I think you could just hold down the fourth one and just spin to win, but whatever, do whatever you want. Resident skills replaced by resident skill floral ravage. Casting floral ravage deals havoc damage. Consider basic attack damage. Uh, can be cast midair. Like there's really nothing too crazy here. Uh, it seems like a lot, but it, it's not. And, and it, it's not actually kind of annoying that these kits are that long, but whatever. Okay. Forte circuit, once again, as I've showed you, hitting a target with normal attack, basic attack, basic attack, dodge counter, resonant skill, resonant skill, consumes crimson pistols. Crimson pistols are your max, is your forte. You can hold up to 100 crimson pistols. That's the actual thing. So when you're in the state, once you have your concerto energy at 100 and you activate your crimson pistols, then the normal attacks will start taking it away. The energy regen multiplier of this attack is increased by 150. Uh, consuming 10 crimson pistols recovers four concerto energy and obtains one crimson. Each bud lasts 15 seconds, stacking up to 10 times. So pretty nothing really crazy there. Just normal stuff. When concerto energy is full, recovered, and uh, is not on cooldown, resonance skills are placed with Ephral. That's the that's the light up thing that I showed you. Concerto energy can deals excuse me consumes 70 concerto energy deals havoc damage. Consider basic attack damage. Uh, increase the damage multiplier when you're in this budding mode. That's the first mode uh, of normal attack, basic attack, vining waltz, basic attack, basic attack, dodge counter, resonance skill, and resonance skill floral ravage by 50%. Again, basic attack all the way. A little bit of resonance skill there. Uh, casting consumes all crimson buds. Each crimson bud consumed additionally increases the damage of Sweet Dream 5 up to 50%. I mean, I'm not going to lie to you. Like, reading this word for word is really not going to do much. It, just, just do what I showed you, and that is it. And you're going to get a fuck ton of buffs. You have your Forte active. You're doing a shit ton of damage. Uh, can Camilla could up to the 100. And then casting intro skill recovers 100 Crimson Pistols, as I showed you. And activating Forte circuit, which I showed you, uh, recovers 100. So that's cool. Bam. Reservation is literally just a nuke. Nothing crazy. Her intro is just going to do Havoc damage. Her outro is going to do uh, Havoc damage. 392. 329.24% of Camilla's attack. After activating the Forte circuit, uh, the next outro skill, twinning deals havoc damage equal to 459. It's just more damage. It is what it is. Um, her Forte is pretty valid. Gain 50% havoc damage bonus. Damage dealt by heavy attack. Pruning is now considered basic attack damage, which is perfect because she is just all basic attack damage. Spoiler, you need basic attack on your echoes. And then gain 15% havoc damage bonus. Increase resistance to interruption when casting basic attacks, which you're going to want to need because you're stuck on the vines. She don't want to get stuck down. I assume she'll probably have similar interruption resistance to uh, to Chang Lee. That's just me 100% guessing. Uh, yeah, pretty much. Pretty much backseat. So that that's really her kit, bro. It's really nothing too crazy. Um, for her build is is pretty simple. Um, you are going to want, then starting off with the weapon, <laughs> you, Would obviously you her like best in slot will be Red Spring, right? It Between gives an ungodly amount of basic attack damage, it gives crit rate. If you do not have crit rate and you, excuse me, you don't have Red Spring, you can run Emerald. Emerald will give you the same amount of crit rate and attack, and it gives you energy regen, which is fine. Chang Li's sword is not a bad option because it's a good stat stick, but this is really not giving you the best, really anything too crazy in the world in terms of the passive. The new free-to-play weapon that I covered as well is pretty good. You do need about 10 seconds of field time to get the extra crit rate off of this. So I'm not going to lie to you. Like, I would just say go with Emerald. And I've already made a whole video on should you roll for her signature if you want, because it's pretty, it's valid, but you don't necessarily need it. But those are her best options. Commando Conviction always is, is okay, but that new four-star just blows that out the water. So for four Echoes, you can run Crownless. Um... 
Crownless is honestly going to probably wind up giving you the most. After the transformation, increase the current havoc damage by 12% and resonant skill damage. The resonant skill, you know, it's it's going to help, but you really want that havoc damage. People might run Dreamless, and that's fine uh, if you want like little bursty damage. But realistically, Crownless is probably going to be the one. But either way is valid. I'm sure someone's going to do the numbers and say that it's wrong. So whatever. One of these two echoes. Uh, both havoc damage, and then you want crit rate, crit damage, basic attack damage, uh, attack, and that that's really it, brother. Um, crit rate, crit damage, basic attack damage, like nothing too insane. She's pretty simple to build. That obviously just comes to RNG, and then yes, you obviously will want the havoc echo set. Uh, nothing crazy there. I think that's it, man. I mean, in terms of her constellations, um, again, I haven't looked at any of these. I'm under the impression I really don't think constellations are worth it. But casting intro skill increases. Oh my god. See one real quick. C1, C1. C1 seems to be pretty valuable. C1 seems to be pretty valuable from what I've seen. I would have absolutely shit myself. Imagine, Chad. Imagine, brother. I prefer Dreamless because it's shorter echo time. I could see that as well because, oh, like, her feel convention. time is a little bit longer. Then but I think I'm probably going to rock around this. I'm not going to lie to you. Just a, little, some, just a little C1. Just something a little light. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So C1 is pretty crazy. Um, <coughs> casting intro skill increases Camilla's crit damage by 28% for 18 seconds. This effect can be triggered every 25 seconds. Immune to interruption, which is which is insane. Immune to this is like new Valette C1, but even better if you're a Genshin player. Crit damage and inter interruption resistance. The damage multiplier of resident skills is increased by 120. Uh, damage multiplier of resident separation is increased by 50. Uh, when budding, Camilla's attack increased by 58%. These are all insane. Casting Everbloom gives uh, basic attack damage. I mean, yeah, yeah that, that one's all right. Uh, the damage multiply of outro skills increased. That one's so 303 is a lot, actually, in intro skill. Okay, that, that's... She's got she's got pretty crazy. What is this? C6. The damage multiplier of Forte circuit features just increased by 150. Forte within 15 seconds. Concern energy is full. is not on cooldown. Resident skill replaced with Pernal. Class and Pernal is just 50 concern. This is the longest constellation ever, brother. C1 and C2 are the big things, for sure. I think C1 is honestly... <clears throat> I think C1 is where you could safely stop. Obviously, you can go to C2 as well, but after that, I feel like you're just getting into a little bit of whale what? territory. You are Yo, one my guy, Aspen, bitch. making a cameo in a YouTube video. Thank you for the resub. I love you, brother. I appreciate months, you. Thank you, thank dude. you, thank you. How are you? Aspen, what do you think of this character design? Um, Yeah, this is crazy. Like, like her constellations are just insane. Aspen, I love you. Give me two and a half seconds. That me up, brother. Welcome in. Thank you, for the, thank you for the resub. But yeah, that's it, man. That is Camilla. She's pretty straightforward. Don't be intimidated by the kit. I was absolutely intimidated for the first five minutes. And then chat told me stop being a little bitch. I love you. We're live right now. I'm still going to be live while this video is up. Mwah. See you in the next one.